welcome to my studio. I'm Patty Stone Cipher here in Joppa, Maryland, and Ron Hartman is taking this video for us for Hartford Artists Association. I wanted to share a little bit about my art and my personal life before art became a tremendous part of it. Not like most people, I had no interest in art growing up at all. I had a very talented sister and she was the artist in the room. After high school, I got married. My husband and I raised two sons. He became a state trooper, and then we started a law enforcement equipment business. At 67, I retired from our business and had no idea what I was gonna do with my spare time. Went to a breakfast, and a total stranger lady, who became a very good friend, recommended I go with her to the senior center and take watercolor classes. Well, I was game. So I took watercolor classes at the senior center, then went up to Hartford Community College after a few years and took non-credit classes up there. I, at that time, I started with um, landscapes, not good. Then I went to florals, a little better. And then, just on a whim, I took a portrait class and I fell in love with portraits. I started taking oil classes uh, from Lee Alban up in Havity Grace. Lee started me on an old masters and I painted Chili Girl, which you love, maybe have seen at the gallery. When I started that painting, Lee walked behind me and he said, how are you doing, Patty? And I said, this slippery stuff is sliding all over this board. I don't know what I'm doing. He pointed out my error and I just have found that oils are without a doubt the favorite medium. This is the picture I'm working on now. Uh, it's oil on a board. I took the photograph at a friend's house who had her friend come from Japan and do a tea ceremony. I start with transferring the picture to the board or canvas, and then do a complete underpainting with burnt umber. After the, umber paint, the underpainting has gotten all the values correct, the darks and lights, I can go to color. One of the smartest things I did was joining HAA, Harford Artists Association. At first, I've joined just to go and look at the other people's art and then I got real brave and even though I figured my work wasn't worthy of the wall, I hung my art and the more I hung, the better I got and the more I associated with the members of our Harford Artists, the better I got and it has given me a place to display my art. I don't care if I sell or not. It's not a store. It gives you validation when you complete a painting and actually hang it in an art gallery. And Harford Artist has given me that opportunity.